Hello friends, welcome to the new session and today we will be learning something very interesting and informative. Okay, are you interested in knowing what is the topic that we are going to learn today? Today we are going to learn about Roman numerals. Okay, heard of this term before children? Yes, so you would have seen lot of symbols which we use while writing the numbers, right? So now we will be seeing in details how the people during the old primitive ages used to calculate the numbers and how, ye, how they used to find the figures before the numeric system was discovered. So, as the name suggests Roman numerals, so it was invented in Roman and people during that time, they used these alphabets in order to know what is the time and how to calculate the numbers. Okay. Now, the very strange thing here is, here, we use the alphabets as numbers. So, this is 1, this V is represented as 5, X is represented as 10, then you have D, you have C, you have M. Okay, and one more is there which is L. Okay, I will write in the order. So, L. C, D and M. So, these are the seven alphabets which Roman people used to follow and with these seven alphabets they used to calculate their numbers. So, L represents 50, C represents 100, D represents 500 and M represents thousand. Okay. Now, if you see here, C is for hundred, right? So, if you have to remember, you can just remember the word century, right? I hope you all watch cricket. So, you know what is the meaning of century? A hundred runs means century, right? So, if you know the word century, it is easy for you to memorize the value of C, which is hundred. Okay. Next comes Thousand. So, if you remember the word milli, you will remember that M denotes thousand. Okay. And I, you know very well, it is the very first alphabet. I mean, it is the very first number in the Roman numerals. Okay. So, based on these seven alphabets, we are going to learn how the people during those time used to calculate. So, shall we revise it once again, children? So, I which is the very first number denotes 1. Okay. V represents 5. X represents 10. L represents 50. C represents 100. D represents 500. And M represents 1000. Now, one more thing which you have to keep in mind is for the numbers which is beginning with 1, okay, it is possible for you to do an addition. You can add it three times in a Roman number. Okay. Whereas the numbers like V, L and D cannot be repeated in a Roman number. So, it has to be only once. The numbers like I, X, C and M can be repeated Three times max. Okay. For example, if I want to write three, I can write three times i. Okay. If I want to write thirty, I can write three times x. If I want to write three hundred, I can write three times c. If I want to write 3000, I can write 3 times M. Okay. Whereas, the alphabets like V, L and D will not be repeated 
more than once. Okay? So, which means that if I write V, the value is 5. Now, if I want to increase it, if I am writing the next number, so 6 and 7, I cannot put as V, V 2 times or 3 times. It is wrong. Similarly, if I write X, it will, I am sorry, if I write 50, that is L, it will be only 50. Okay? So, 60 and 70, I cannot repeat this L 2 times or 3 times. Similarly, if I want to write D which is 500, this D will represent as only once. For 600 and 700, you cannot just increase the count. Okay? So, you have to be very careful and this is an important note which you have to memorize while solving the sums. Clear children? So, now we will be moving to the next important property.